If you're in Iraq, you count on insurance to get you back on the road, right? Well, what happens when insurance will not pay nearly enough to make that happen? A Midvale woman says her insurance company is refusing to pay a fair price for what her wrecked ride is worth, so she decided it was time to get Gephardt to investigate. There was no steering wheel, no gas, no brakes. Zara Magimi was exiting the freeway when she says without warning, her car suddenly lost power and rolled into a building. My car is destroyed, yes. But hers was not just any old car. It had been retrofitted with special equipment that allowed her to be able to drive using just her hands. You see, polio cost Zara use of her legs when she was a child. And the cost of all that special equipment? It's very pricey. Runs tens of thousands of dollars. These are the documents that they sent me. Zara filed an insurance claim, Here. but was Here. stunned this by the offer she received. We are only able to pay you for the value of the car. We cannot pay you for the what you have on the van. Yeah, about 8,000 bucks. Zara appealed, saying with all that equipment, the car was certainly worth a lot more. For what he's offering me? There is nowhere I can replace that car. But her insurance company refuses to budge. What does that mean for you and your life getting around? I'm sorry. I depend on my car 100%. Stranded, Zara asked me to investigate. I took it to Zara's insurance company, Bear River Mutual. It is extremely common that people have aftermarket equipment. Vice President of Underwriting Dave Andrist would not talk about Zara specifically citing privacy concerns, but he says they frequently need to tell people that their car add-ons are not covered after an accident. It is extremely important that you read your insurance contract because most aftermarket equipment is not covered. Insurance companies will write policies that do cover extra stuff, but Andrus says you have to tell your agent about it, and you also have to pay for it. We don't want to increase everybody's costs. At the expense of a few people, we want those people to f pay their fair share. And so we'll cover the 99%, and then the 1% you have to pay additional premium for. And that's really about fairness. And bad news for Zara, her policy did not cover extra equipment. Still, a few days later, a surprising turn. This is the check. I heard from Zara, and she was ecstatic. Bear River sent her nearly $20,000 more than they told her they would. I feel relieved. Relieved, Zara says she now also hopes that others who are in wheelchairs take what happened to her as a lesson. Look very carefully what is in your policy. I asked Bear River why they had a change of heart. They told me they didn't. That larger payment they say was actually made by mistake, but considering everything, Bear River says they are not going to be trying to collect that money back from Zara. Guys, I wish.